Hi guys, Linda here. I am back from 24 days at my cabin. It was so much fun. We got so much done too. Two new doors, um, quarter round down around the floor. It was great. Anyway, so I am going to do a little catching up. This is CW Planner number 22. And um, so what I've done so far is I've gessoed my paper. I'm going to move this up a little bit. And now what I want to do is create a sky and a, like, underwater. So I'm not quite sure how that's all going to work, but I'm going to do it with paint. And I'm just going to smear this around here. So I hope everybody's doing well. I'm doing great. Having a wonderful summer so far. Um, boy, it's hot though. Oh my goodness. Can't believe how hot it is. I should be up at the cabin swimming, but did need to come home. This is my week to water. At the, we all take turns at the condo watering the outside plants. So that's what I'm home for. And then I'm going to head back. So if you don't hear from me, that's where I am at my cabin. Love and life. <laughs> but it's fun to have some artwork to come home to. That's what these weekly challenges are, you know, good for. I have to catch up on these and my stitching ones. See, I kind of have this planned out today, so it shouldn't take me too long. It's funny, when you look at this brown paper that I glued on, it doesn't look like it has any wrinkles in it <laughs> until you paint it. Then the wrinkles show up. I just didn't think that light blue paint would show up if I did it that way. Okay, so now this is um, some golden teal. We'll see how this works. Got a little ball in it, so this is oh, this is a messy one. <laughs> so the prompts are group of a date, a group of three, a flag, something found underwater, a ribbon, and something with a bumpy surface. So my bumpy surface is going to be some corrugated cardboard that I have here. And I want to put that here. I'm going to have to let that dry because I'm going to slip the um, tag in back here. Maybe what I'll do, uh, take a little envelope. Okay, so it, it's going to go here. So I'm just going to cut this off back like that and then I'm going to glue it on the back of this so that's going to go in there like that maybe like that and I want to put this on a little piece of um, card stuff I'm going to set that aside while it's drying so I'm just going to cut a piece of card stock so that I can push it in and out of this envelope. One of the prompts is a flag and I was, I couldn't find a flag. So I looked through my books that I cut paper out of for collage and I found a really good one. So that's what I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna take this tag die and just cut the top of this so I know, um, you know, so, I, so it has a cute top. We'll see how that works. Might want to trim it down just a little bit. Okay, that should work better. And then I can put a little ribbon on that, so that'll be the ribbon. But I want to leave this out. Let's see, is this dry enough yet? Not quite. Got a little bit of paint here that I can do the top of this with. This dry. Okay, so I got that pretty dry. Now I want to put this on here, but 
the flag I found, let's see, maybe like that. Um, the flag I found really was fun because it's from Boulder Junction, which is where my cabin's just north of Boulder Junction. And when you go up north, you spend a lot of time, or I do, at Boulder Junction. So that's the flag. So let me get this on here. I like the way the bumpy is. It kind of gives it a lot more texture. Okay, so so this corrugated cardboard is just something off of a packing box, and I just kind of ripped the corrugation off of it. And I can go right over that envelope now because the tag can go can just slide in there. Hope this sticks. <laughs> I wanted to do sandpaper, but I don't think I have any sandpaper. Down here like this. It's kind of neat because that week I was in Boulder Junction. <laughs> Actually, my address up there is Presque Isle, but... Um, Boulder Junction is just a little bit bigger city than Presque Isle. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever been to northern Wisconsin, you know that some of the towns are really little. Okay, so that's going to go on here like this. And um, this is probably from, you know, one of their flyers <clears throat> that I got a long time ago. And I'm glad I have it, because now I have a flag. That's a really good source of um, collage material, or the pamphlets and stuff that you can pick up for free in the towns that you go to. All right, okay, so where's my directions here. Okay, so all well, the date's going to be one of the last things. Group of three. So a group of three and, um, oh, okay, group of three. I think I'll put three of these hot air balloons on it because that would be kind of fun, wouldn't it? You know, I buy these things because <laughs> I think they're pretty and then it's like, oh, how am I going to use that? Okay, so I'll do it. Three of the same. One, two. So they all might have to be a little different. So that's my group of three. Three hot air balloons. And then um, something found under the water. And, you know, there are lots of weeds that are under the water so I'm going to put some of these down here and I was excited to use this dye this is from an Elizabeth craft set that I got last year um, and haven't really used any of them because I think I got it in the winter when it was on sale so um, again happy to use my stuff that's what's so neat about these weekly challenges that, you know, in the prompts, you get to use stuff that you have. So I'm going to put this down here. That kind of represents the sand. Um, put this one here. And this is kind of a group of three, too. And it, I cut it out of um, cork. I'll show you in a minute what the cork looks like. Let's see. Something else I've had forever. This cork, and it's all different colors. Fun stuff. Okay, here's my group of three. Um, like something underwater. A ribbon. This is my bumpy surface, so I just need the date and a ribbon. Let's see, we're going to put the ribbon. Where was I going to put the Oh, I was going to put the ribbon through this. All right, so it's got to be very skinny piece of amuse ribbon. I 
I just love this, the Amuse papers and, you know, I, I have a few of the stamps, but I really, really love their ribbons and papers. I'm just putting the ribbon through here. Move it up a little bit. I'm just going to tie it like that, I think. Didn't say a bow, it just said ribbon. <laughs> this should be able to go in here. I have to tip it up to find it. this on here. Just wanted to get it all to fit. All right. Okay, just group of three, flag, something found underwater, a ribbon, bumpy surfaces, the bonus. Group of three would be this and this. And now I just need to put the date on here. And let's see, I'm going to put the date up there. Um, this is really weak, <laughs> gotta look, 22. So that should have been the week of June 1st. So maybe I'll just put June 1st up there. Let's see, I do have a date stamp. Just have to um, test these out because I'm never sure if I have it backwards or not. So let's try this. One piece of scrap. This is scrap here. June first, twenty twenty one. Okay. Well, I'm gonna try just stamping it right on here, and if it doesn't work, I can cover it up. There we go. June one, twenty twenty one. Got everything on there. So that is. CW Planner, number 22. So I should probably put that up there, too. Maybe I should have put that there. Let's see if I can get it off of there. Nope. Okay. Okay, maybe I can do a number 22. All right, so I'm going to try to do this. I know there's a hashtag. Here's a hashtag. Oh, there's got to be one over here. Wait. Yeah, I think I can do it this way. Hashtag. Oh, there's two hashtags. Okay, this needs to be a blank. That needs to be a blank. And then I need a two and a two. It took me a while to figure this one out. So, um, what you have to do... I don't know if that's going to be right. It might be. We'll try. Okay, so what you have to do is with this kind of stampy thing is you have to push it all the way down because that's where it's going to be when it shows. Then you push it down, you flip this little switch, and then let's give it a try. Yep. <laughs> the only problem I have is I get ink on other parts you know, like on the feet. So I want to wipe that off and try to do it like this. It seems really complicated, but it's really not. Okay, let's try that one more time. Okay, it's got to go this way. All right. Um, all right, so what I'm going to do is push it down, wipe off these bars because they have ink on them. Then I should get a nice stamp. All right, push it this way. Yeah, wish me luck. Well, it's kind of messy, but it's okay. All right, that is hashtag number 22. Oops, Let's see if I can clean that up a little bit. And there you go. So thank you for watching, and I will be back with 23. Bye. Thank you.